morning everybody welcome to the firefly studio 67 this is gina um today i've got sorry about that just trying to get a uh, cough drop in my mouth before i started this um today i've got a design team project to share with you from artie mays this is her blue butterfly kit you've seen me work with this before in a couple of tns mm, maybe a month ago I'm working on a couple more journals, but in between, I thought it would be fun to do another couple of these little tag booklets. <clears throat> and you'll be seeing these again very soon. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, I'll put the link to the tutorial um, in the description box below, and you can check that out. Um, as I said, this is the Blue Butterfly um, kit that she sells, and I've just taken... You get a whole sheet of these butterflies, so I fussy cut those and then just backed it with some textures for added interest. And this is what they look like when you open them up. So <clears throat> they're really pretty. I've got two of them in my studios <clears throat> that I previously did. And I've just got them, you know, sitting up on a shelf. And they're just really sweet to pull down and have a flip through. So, yeah, just very simple. I've added a couple little tuck spots here. And these little definition strips are from uh, Nikki Ad Adgun's shop, uh, Musings by Nikki. So if you're interested in those, um, I just made a little, little tag out of those. <clears throat> and just, you know bits of ephemera that come with the kit, and then I also added other stuff um, that coordinated with it. So just a really fun project to make, and I think these make really nice um, happy mail because they're not that thick to send out, and you could make them even thinner. Mine have been bulked out a bit by the um, adding these buttons here on the belly band. But these are going to be part of my giveaway, so uh, I wanted to go ahead and, and try to embellish them up using some of my buttons and things. So yeah, just um, little tags and tuck spots, and I'll show you this one. <clears throat> these little um, tags flip open, and you've got another pocket here. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll, you'll have seen me. I've done these a couple of times in um, <clears throat> different types of... Um, I did one with the Shabby Chic, and then I've done another one using Tracy, who is Love Junk Journals uh, kits. So yeah, they're just a lot of fun. And like I said, I think these are perfect for Happy Mail because they're, they're pretty small and... It wouldn't have been so thick if I hadn't added those buttons, but I wanted to with this being a um, part of my giveaway. And then this one's pretty much the same, just slightly different in um, the placement of, of some of the pockets. So there you go, guys. Okay, and so, jumping on, I'm going to have to fix that button. I stitched that, but that must not have held, so I'll put a little bit of glue behind him. So, carrying on, um, that's one thing I want to share with you guys today. The other thing is, I've had another entry come in, and this is from Diana Stankiewicz, and... This came in a couple of days ago, and I was waiting to see if I had anything else. I think this is probably going to be it, but I will hold off until the 15th for the drawing. But let's just have a look here. Isn't this beautiful? I'm not sure if that's... I think that may be scrapbook paper, but it's hard to tell, because sometimes when you press, print the digitals... Um, you know, but the, oh, and she's got it's got like a little bit of glimmer um, to it as well. So I think that must be a scrapbook book, a uh, page. So she's got a ruffle up here. I love that dreamers, and then she's put an old a doily that's been tea dyed, and she's done all this fussy cutting with the dragonfly. I love that. 
beautiful page. Oh wow, and you go inside here, she's got the um, CD pockets. And inside, oh, that's beautiful. That's backed with avocado dye. Isn't that pretty? So that's a beautiful journal card. So that is tucked in that one. And then look at these journal cards. And oh, she's backed all of them with, this is a tea dye backed. Oh, I love that. That one's absolutely gorgeous. And that's backed with avocado dye, as is that one. And they've all got a little bit of sheen to them. That's beautiful. Beautiful, Diana. <clears throat> yes, I'm so glad I've extended it because, um, like I said, this one just came in. I think it was on Friday. Another little journal card that's tucked in there. Oh, and look, this flips. Oh, so she's got two pockets here, and this flips down, and this is one of those glossy envelopes. I love that. Oh, that's so sweet. So that flips back over, and this has all been layered here, so that is really pretty. love how she's done this case. These are so pretty, Diana. So there's that card. This is a beautiful paper pack. And that's, again, backed with the avocado dyed paper. Wait, if I got that right. Yeah, I think so. And then she's fill this up. Well, this comes down. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Oh, I love that because I love cardinals. And we don't get cardinals in the UK. So I always like it when I get to go home. at wind In the winter, I see a lot of cardinals in Georgia when I go back. I love that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's another journal card down there. I didn't see that one. Really pretty. And she's back, like I said, backed all of those with tea dyed or avocado dyed paper. And then she's included uh, she's included a really sweet note. Um, so that is very, very nice. And she is from Ohio. So she is, um, I feel like another neighbor. I suppose you could say that in just about any any of the, the states in the U.S. Because I've lived in so many of them. <clears throat> and I, every time I get something, you know, from a state, I think, oh, well, that was just beside the state I lived in. <laughs> I love these. Is, you can get that paper. I must pick up some of that when I go home. And uh, I like that being back down to the journal card. Very, very nice. And then she's got a tiny little... Let me see if I can... Oh, I love that. So she's, she's put where it, who made it, and that's tucked in so you don't necessarily see it, but it's there. Beautiful, Diana. Thank you so much. That is absolutely gorgeous, and it goes right in with the other entries. So, I've got something else to share. How are we on time? We're good. Okay, so I've showed that. Okay, so, <clears throat> I've made a start, guys, on the um, Friendship Journal. I had done a video the other day and had to pull it because I realized I'd left something out. Um, so if I get time, I'll show you the two journals I've been able to put together. Okay, so again, um, I have <clears throat> started on this because I'm now up to my paper here. 
that was entry 54 from Diana. Let me just write that down. And so these have been much larger than, I, well, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess not having ever done it before. I wasn't too sure what to expect, and I've just come to the conclusion that this is probably going to be the best way for me to keep these together. And again, I, you've seen me, I use these envelopes, and I like the way they look. Um, I thought I could do two signatures, but I can't. Um, they're, it's just, everybody's been so generous with their pages that... Um, I'm finding I'm only able to put a few entries in each journal. <laughs> so it's looking like I'm going to end up with probably 8 to 10 journals from this, which is just amazing. So let's just get started. Um, I chose this image from Artie Mays from her spring because the um, challenge being in the spring, I thought, though, that was really nice. And I've added this, which was um, part of Happy Mail from Andrea um, in Australia. <clears throat> she sent me this some time back. And so I've just been kind of keeping bits from Happy Mail to add to journals. And this was the perfect opportunity. So it's going to be a, a, a mix of what came from the... Um, the entries and happy mail that I've received, you know, since I've been in this the the junk journaling community. So going inside, another thing I I really wanted to do is, you know, I've been hoarding buttons, and when I do a project, if I see one that I really like, I just set it to the side for myself. And this was just a kind of a collection of some of them that I've kept for myself. And I want to show you. It's a really big mother of pearl one. I haven't seen many like that, so I, I kept that one. And the other thing I've had to do, guys, is pull some of the pieces <clears throat> from the pages, and I've had to put them in pockets. So you will notice probably, you know, that you know this this was your entry, and so I've had to place things around, and I haven't completed this one because I've still got to put a pocket on the back so that I can add some more of my um, the bits that people have sent. So let's just go through so you can start to get a feel about how these are looking. And like I said, I think this is a really good solution for it. And I don't know if I'll do all of them this way, but until I can come up with another way, this is pro you know, I think this is the way I, I will be binding them. So, you know, I'm just going to flip through so you can see how beautifully they all seem to go together. And I've tucked, like I said, the little notes that everybody wrote to me, I've tucked in. It just, it's just a be beautiful keepsake. I'm so proud to own this, guys, and so grateful to, um, I love that bag, Nikki, Nikki, um, Adigan made this page, and I love that little bag she's put there. That's so sweet. So, yeah, here I've tucked the little note that came with that one. Beautiful. Look at that. Just a beautiful, beautiful tag. Mm, I love it. I love, now that I've got it in the journal form, I just take it down in the evening and I just flip through them. I've, I've got two done and I'm hoping I'll get time. You know, well I should be able to show you guys the other one. But yeah, it's just been so nice to go back. Now, you know, when you've got, <clears throat> got it in the journal to really just pull everything out and take it all in because you can't take these things in all at once you're you're going over it and now I can sit back and and you just notice things that maybe you overlooked the last time. So yeah, I'm very, very happy about this. Thank you all <clears throat> again. 
I really cannot express my gratitude for um, just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So as I said, I, I'm, I'm only able to put maybe four or five of these into each journal. So I, I don't know. I'm thinking eight to ten journals probably. <laughs> Um, I just love looking through it. Just everything matches so, so beautifully. So yeah, I thought you guys might enjoy seeing this. Um, and I'll keep, uh, you know, as I get them complete, I'll come on and show you guys. Um, you know, once they're completed, I'm just working on them little by little, and like I said, I don't have, I think I've got another entry coming in, but I'm not certain about it, so I will leave it till the 15th, oh, that's beautiful, <coughs> that is just beautiful paper. But I suppose if if you are watching this and you sent one <clears throat> and you haven't seen me show it on here, if you could take the time to contact me through my website, that would be a huge, huge help, guys. Um, because I only know of one other um, entry that, that I'm waiting on, but I'd like to know if there is any more. I mean, I don't expect to extend it beyond the 15th because this was supposed to have been done the first but with that with the circumstances so do let me know guys and I'll try to um, you know see what we can do because I I want everybody to be included in the, the giveaway okay so that's I'm calling volume one and uh, let me just stop the camera and I'll show you the next one Okay guys, this is volume two. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller. Um, I tried to add another page to this and it just wouldn't work. I couldn't even get this to fold over. And the reason being, some of the entries were a little bit bigger than the A4, but I wanted to make sure I could include them. And again, this is another charm that Andrea sent me. And I just I really want to make sure that I incorporate all my uh, happy mail and things within these journals and I shouldn't have any trouble given the fact I'm going to end up with so many of them. 
Again, I've done the same thing with the pocket here. I haven't filled it and the back still needs work, but I'm happy with it for now. And as time allows, I will come back through and, um, you know, start adding <clears throat> more things. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my voice today. It's just, um, I've been using a lot of that glue in here and uh, I've been trying to open up the window, but it's still, it really does irritate me. So I, I think I've decided uh, when this batch of Fabra Tech and the 3-in-1 are done, I'm going to switch to a different glue because I'm getting concerned about uh, what this is doing <clears throat> for me to be reacting like this. It's just not, uh, something's not right. And that's even with, I sit under the window. And um, so, yeah, do be careful with that glue, guys, because I think it must be wicked stuff on our lungs, and particularly with this coronavirus going around. It's uh, it's making you even more aware of these things, I think. So, yes, as you can see, another beautiful bunch of um, this little notebook. I won't open everything because if you want to see more in depth, then go to each of the entries where I have taken everything out. I love that. Just beautiful. Another beautiful image. This is backed so that you can do some writing up here. You could add a photo here. <coughs> I love that page. Just beautiful. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it, guys, because now I can take these down and just pull them out when I need some inspiration and just look through. Because everybody's style is so very different, but I think it's all come together really pretty. So much texture on that page. Just beautiful. Look at this. All these beautiful little tuck spots. Just beautiful. Yeah, I just love it. So, we, um, I've been working in the garden, I've been doing some baking, um, I'm, I'd like to this week, if I get time, I'm going to try to do a cake, um, and I say try, I mean I've baked cakes in the past, I don't know if you guys know, I, I've been to culinary art school, um, and I used to do uh, cakes, but I've gotten away from it because of um, um, Paul is diabetic, so I try not to, and I don't need them. So, but I love coffee walnut cake. I've discovered that since I moved to England, and uh, oh, it is amazing. And I like the desserts in England more than the U.S. because they're not as sweet. I think some desserts are just so sickening sweet that I don't even like them. This is beautiful. Um, so I do, I'm super excited to try this. And I'll let you guys know. Well, you'll know if it comes out because I'll be posting on Instagram. But I'm super excited to... Um, beautiful 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 um, to, to try that cake I've got everything I think I've got everything now to do it with and uh, I'm hoping because it can be I've had it out some places it can be a little bit dry so I can see you got to get the right recipe to make that come out the way I want it to come out <laughs> but That's what I'm hoping to do this week. I mean, goodness knows I don't need any more cake because I'm not getting much exercise um, during this lockdown. But 
but I don't know about you guys, but when I'm stressed out, I, I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat. And I know it's bad, but you know what? We've all got something, so I don't drink, I don't smoke, so you got to have something, don't you? But beautiful, just beautiful. I love that belly band. Okay, guys, so that is the volume two. And like I said, I tried to put another page into it, and it just would not um, work. So I thought, well, we got to get those things right. So I'm just going to, however many journals it takes, it just takes it. So I've got my envelopes, and um, like I said, I, I'll just keep working on it. I'm, I've got other stuff that I've got to prioritize at the moment, but... Um, just over the course of the next couple of months, you'll start seeing me, you know, adding to these. And um, I'm trying to think, it seems like there was something else. Oh, yes, I wanted to share something else with you guys. Uh, this is really, <coughs> really off, off topic. Well, kind of and, and kind of not. I wanted to recommend this. My husband picked this up uh, last week, right? And you can get these in the UK. I think he got these at Screwfix, but I would imagine the US is going to have something like this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Or if you've got, um, oh, what's that other? Oh, I don't know. There was another store Paul liked to go to in the US. Something frayed, and it's a guy shop. But pick these up, guys. They are amazing, and I'll tell you, this is going to give you a bit of glare, but <clears throat> you know our glass surfaces here. Um, I hadn't really wanted to use it. Isn't that stupid? I bought this, and I haven't wanted to use it because it's such a mess to clean up. Those things, just take that fabric glue off, the Mod Podge, any of it. It just You just do that, scrub a little bit, and it's off. And I'll say, with my desk, I was starting to get some uh, white marks from the, um, you know, when you're doing your glitter mist and ink. But that generally comes off pretty easy anyways. But these, I definitely recommend that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys to be on the lookout um, in some of the hardware stores um, and give those things a try because it will make your life easier, I think. Okay, guys, well, that's all I've got to share today. I always feel like there ought to be something there um, for you to see. But anyways, <coughs> that's all I've got for today. I hope you're all staying safe and um, yeah, next Wednesday I'll be doing the drawing and I've got something special for you guys. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye!